So here you have spyware. This is Jeremy checking in from BeYourOwnIT.com where we provide free how-to videos, free tech support tools, articles, product reviews, and a tech support blog. Stop on by, join it. It's free. Comment. Tell us what you want. Make some suggestions for videos. We love to hear them. Um, today's topic is you having spyware. If you do, it's a shame, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to help you get rid of it, um, free, hopefully. Um, spyware can be anything from pop-ups to, um, you know, uh, website, you know, your homepage changing, all sorts of things. Uh, the bottom line is most of it's harmless, but some of it can be pretty darn nasty. Not to mention it leads to all sorts of problems with your computer, which you're probably experiencing if you have spyware. Um, there's a variety of programs out there. I'm not endorsing any one over another because I don't really, you know, I haven't used any of them that much. Back in the IT field, I, I, I mean, I used to use um, Adaware for customer computers, perhaps, um, or Spybot, I believe. Um, you know, uh, there's a company called, boy, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but uh, Webroot, Spy Sweeper used to be awesome when it was free but then they changed and it wasn't free anymore so is it worth the 30 or 40 bucks that they're paying probably uh, but I'm not about costing you guys money so I'm gonna show you how to work around it for free um, first step is you're gonna need a program to remove your spyware so you're gonna need to go to download.com and um, <laughs> we'll just go with uh, let's see only the most popular download of 2007 which is probably not a good sign for computer users um, but instead of clicking there let's just type in here because uh, that may not be the top download someday and um, of course here it is Adaware 2007 we're going to click on that now they have a paid version I think but this is free with no limitations. So you click here to download it, which I've already done because it takes a little bit. It's about 20 megabytes. So even if you're on high speed, it may take a few minutes. Here it is on my desktop. It'll be called AAW 2007. Let's double click on it to install and um, go with English. Let it install here. Now I should say that, you know, ad adware and spyware can be difficult to remove. Um, so a simple scan may remove it but if you notice that you're constantly having it come back you probably haven't removed it or you haven't changed your browsing habits um, using P2P networks like LimeWire to download free stuff or download free programs is a is a very um, popular way to get these sorts of things on your computer but um, you know if you get it removed you know you need to think about being a little uh, more careful when you browse um, you know, a lot of the programs and stuff like that that you get out there that are free, you know, uh, they can be dangerous. And I should warn you that there are a lot of programs out there that say they remove spyware, but they are, in fact, spyware themselves. So it's pretty interesting. That's why I thought I'd recommend one for you guys to use. Um, I'm just going through this, choosing all the standard defaults, and letting it install. So if you see it keep coming back and back and back, what you may need to do is scan from safe mode which you can get into safe mode by turning on your computer and while the screen's still black or you may see text before you get to the window screen start tapping F8 and uh, choose the app it'll give you a menu option and you can just choose F or safe mode and scan from there um, that's really the best way uh, even when you're removing viruses to scan from safe mode because a lot of times if you have a serious infection it's going to be running while you're trying to install this, and many of them are equipped to um, equipped to uh, block adware. So keep that in mind. Um, so here we go. It's installed, and um, you know what we need to do is we can update your definitions. That's always important because um, adware is only your antivirus or spyware information is only um, as good as your definitions. So it's going to download update list. And uh, you can just check everything if you want. Um, but Adaware is the most important here. And you'll just download it. Now, like I said, these are, you're only as um, 
protected as your definition, so make sure you keep it updated. Uh, Adaware says it updates automatically. I'm not sure how they limit this free version. Um, if, you, if you like it, if you're happy with this performance, feel free to pay for it. I'm never against paying for software. I, I pay for many of the things that uh, I have. Um, now it'll restart the program. And we're up to date. And um, what we'll want to do is choose the scan function here. Smart scan. Th these programs are really idiot proof. They explain everything. You know, they scan only the critical, which to me, don't even bother with a smart scan. You might as well do, if you're going to do a scan, you do it the right way. So you do a full scan, and then you scan. It'll probably find a lot of cookies and all sorts of stuff. Don't worry so much about cookies because you can clean those out pretty easily. Um, but uh, hopefully I'll come up clean. But, um, you know, this Adaware works great for removing it. Again, like I said, if, if it keeps coming back, you're really going to want to go into safe mode to scan. And you may also want to download AVG free antivirus and work with that a little bit. AVG also has a spyware program which is awesome, but it's not free. So I can't really recommend it because I've never used it. Um, so that concludes this video on Adaware and removing spyware. If you have any questions, please beyourownit.com, ask away, hit the forums. Support at beyourownit.com is our email and, of course, our message boards. And also uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep updated and, um, you know, and we'd love you if you did. So have a great day and uh, hope to... You know, answer more of your questions soon. Please send us suggestions. If you have a question, we'll do a video. No problem. Have a great day.